Even though Amsterdam is tiny, we're quite big in electronic music and the DJ culture. So like, it's a perfect place to experiment a lot. I think we draw inspiration from places all over the world. Places like Shelter started this trend that uh, we're now part of. Rather than trying to imitate what, what they did, we thought we would try to make it our own and uh, create a link between the studios that we have here and this critical listening space that is Doka. I think what makes Doka unique is that we are a community working together to create this space. The beauty of it is that everybody really feels like this is their baby. Doka is located in the basement of the Volkshotel on the Wieboudstraat and the Wieboudstraat used to be called the ugliest street of Amsterdam for a long time. People hated it. I remember moving to Amsterdam 20 years ago and this being a place where most people wouldn't go. I grew up in this neighborhood so I've seen it changing over the years and it's really good to have a high quality sound bar in the east part of Amsterdam. There are hotel guests upstairs sleeping for most of the week and uh, therefore we can't uh, push the volume in the room for most of the time. So we decided to put speakers all around the room and uh, that uh, gave us the immersive experience that we were looking for. The room is really important and really a big factor of how you play and what you play. Because it's a smaller capacity room uh, and it's so immersive, you're, it has to do with layers, so you're so into that sound. For me the experience is that you can play more s serene music as well and still be in it and still have that energy carrying you. It's just a different approach. It's not about trying to, to play the music loud, mostly. It's about playing it at a level which makes you feel like the music is really all around you, part of you, that you really should be able to become one with the room and the music that is being played there. The Dutch music market is really good in doing big things. We have a lot of big clubs, very good big festivals. So I think having a smaller space, intimate listening bar like Toka really adds something new for the Dutch crowd. People from all the generations, they like to come here as well. People are there for the same goal and that's like finding good music, regardless the age or subculture. Listening bar is a, is a place where you should feel very comfortable, feel, feel at home, feel like you're in a place that is a real extension of your living room, but with very good sounds. We really wanted this booth to incorporate some studio equipment, uh, namely a, a, a tape echo, opto compressor, a tube equalizer as well. This DJ mixer has been uh, made by an alpha recording system in Japan. We feel very blessed to be one of the first places to, to have it and it's a real joy to play with. So these monitors are typical studio monitors, really meant for uh, extremely critical listening. These are superseded by the Danley SH50 uh, speakers, which you uh, see all around the room. They're uh, horn-loaded speakers with a very intricate construction. The subs are mounted inside the wall. We're constantly evolving, so we're thinking of putting more speakers in the room on the side so that we can uh, keep the volume even lower sometimes and still have enough uh, sound everywhere in the room. We want people to feel comfortable and enjoy high quality of music in the way they want. This can be while having a drink at the bar, or sitting at a table, or while just standing in the sweet spot with your eyes closed. It's important to feel free here. It is very accessible because it's just so intimate and so small. It it's all makes sense, I think, why, why these places exist. 
Do we need music? I feel like I need music and I need to hear it in the, in the best possible way.